Hey guys, Mary Meat, and welcome to week 18 of the YouTube Pagan Challenge. And I'm just going to try to knock a bunch of these out tonight and go ahead and pre-schedule them so I won't have to uh, go and record every single week. So um, tonight's question is funeral rites. How would you prefer your remains to be treated? And as a kid, I always used to kind of like joke. Somewhere I picked up on the idea of a Viking funeral where you uh, put the, the body of the person into a boat. You uh, cover it with flowers and, you know, have a nice shroud over the person. Um, you uh, hopefully douse it in some sort of, you know, ignitable fluid, and you send it out into the water. Then you have an archer. It sounds ridiculous now that I'm saying it, um, but back then it totally made sense to me. And it, and it it is something that has actually happened, but... Uh, as far as me having that, it sounds kind of silly. So then you have an archer who shoots like a flaming arrow and the whole thing goes up in flames and people are, people are keening and wailing on the shore. And, um, I don't know, it sounded really cool when I was a kid. Um, so the idea is that, you know, the, the boat kind of burns up in the water and, you know, so it's, uh, kind of a burial by by fire and by water. I don't know, it still sounds really cool, um, but you know, not practical. I imagine there would be like a lot of hoops you'd have to jump through to get to that. Um, as for me, I have, I don't know, I've seen a lot of people die and I've seen them just kind of waste away and I've seen them at the point of death where they die essentially. And usually after some long wasting illness, and so I kind of feel like the body at that point, let it go. I, I hate the idea of my remains being buried and just left there to rot in some box. That really bothers me. That really bothers me on this like very deep subconscious level that's really hard to describe. It just really, I hate that idea so much. So yeah, I, I also joke with my husband. I'm like, if you find me you know, dead on the kitchen floor, just, you know, douse me in some lighter fluid and light my toe on fire. Um, and I do, I want to be burned. I want to be cremated. I don't want my body sitting around. I don't want it just, I don't want it to linger after I'm gone. I want to be burned. I want to have ashes. I want those ashes to be sprinkled in pretty places. Um, ideally, I would have my ashes mixed with my husband's and somebody who loves us both would sprinkle us somewhere pretty. Uh, New Zealand would be great. Maryland, Asheville. I can think of a bunch of places that I would like that. So, yeah. So, uh, if you find me dead somewhere, <laughs> you know, get some lighter fluid, light me on fire. Uh, I, I like the idea of the transformation of the soul, the body releasing the soul, the soul moving on from the body. I don't like the idea of my body sitting around. So, I don't know, a lot of people are really into the whole idea of, you know, the burial pods with the trees that come up. That's nice. That's pretty. I'd rather be ashes and sprinkle me at the base of a tree because I want my soul released. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. This is a weird one that I have weird opinions on and I can't explain exactly why. Um, so, yeah. So, Yeah. I don't know, and just remember me fondly. So, that's it. Hope you guys are having a great night. It's about 2 a.m., and I am just going to record a couple of these and go to bed. So, good night.